Hi guys and welcome again, it's William from Alltech Trail. In this video I'm going to show you a broadband router from Billion. It is their Bipex 78800 NXL which is capable of supporting 3G, 4G, LTE wireless and ADSL2 Plus and Fiber, as it says right here. Now there's a lot of features of this device that I find really interesting, but what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to list them all, all of these features right down in the, in the description below so all you guys can have a look. Now. Um, the features that are found uh, applies to me is it, it is a gigabyte device. It supports both fiber and copper uh, for broadband. Uh, it has a USB port for a print server, media server, or 3G and 4G USB modem, uh, and it has a Broadcom uh, chipset, which is um, which is supposedly to be more reliable than uh, other chipsets. And also, it supports multiple wireless SSIDs uh, for for you uh, for your guests that may come to your home, or or um, some of the some of those freeloaders out there. But anyway, look. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, just open this box up um, and just to have just to show you around the box here. Um, it is uh, it says right here is triple WAN fiber ready uh, whenever uh, we may get that technology in Australia. But anyway. Uh, it may be a long way away, uh, which is unfortunately we're not really that advanced in that area like other countries such as the States and, um, and definitely Europe. Um, so I'll open this up for you. Okay. Now um, what I was really afraid when I, um, when I got this box was it doesn't come in a cell phone wrap and I was afraid that uh, you know this uh, it may not be new. Uh, but, you know, we'll soon find out anyway. Now, without further ado, uh, I think, well, I, I, I'm just assuming that this is brand new. Uh, it's still, yes it is, unless they uh, uh, package this again. So it's got uh, a $5, five dollars uh, call credit here, but I'm not sure. I don't think uh, I'm going to use that anyway. Uh, billion to your extended warranty program, uh, whether it's going to be worth it or not. Let's just see here. Um, well, it's free of. Oh no, it's uh, nine ninety five. So um, maybe not. Um, what else do we have here? Uh, it's highly recommended that you register your billion product to stay up to date with the firmware pro updates. That's very very important, as as with always. Um, quick start guide, I'm going to put that for later on, um, and the, the CD, which uh, I don't have a CD-ROM drive for, so that doesn't really matter. I'll download that uh, in the future. So, the box is open, guys, so I'm not sure whether this is actually brand new or not, um, but we'll take this, you know, I guess... Um, this hasn't been used, it's still all, uh, I guess, wound up or tied or what, whatever you want to call it. So hopefully, you know, it's not a dud or it's not a return or it's not refurbished unit. Uh, in that case, I'm just gonna, you know, I'll, I'll be taking it back for sure. Uh, so these are the two antennas um, uh, that sticks up on the back here or you can connect it on the back. Um, I mean, Usually in, in their old model there, there is like three antennas, uh, but that's pretty that's pretty big actually. So um, really depends where you want to place this modem, but um, it may need to be outside my cabinet this time. So it's got the RJ40. Uh, it's got the uh, Cat 5 cable, um, inline filter if you need it. And the phone cable. Do, do, do. Okay, so I'll open this up. Okay. Now, Billion is a, is is a is a very very well known brand, at least in this part of the world, anyway. So uh, I'm just hoping that you know it is still reliable. Um, there have been one model which uh, I've been really really disappointed about. I've been using it for about nine months, and um, and then it started to have it started to have problems. Uh, right now, that I mean that that router is still working okay to some extent, but the wireless is is um, 
is no longer working. So um, hopefully, you know, um, I can put that in my uh, in my in my cabinet for a for a backup modem or a backup device. Uh, I've got one already, but it's 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 always good to have a backup device, especially for your internet. You don't want to go one day or two days without internet um, if you can help it. So the antenna goes goes here. Again, as I said before, the antennas look really, really big. Uh, I'm not sure whether I can just uh, put them down and then um, and just see what effects it has on the on the performance. If it if I can, great because I have a shelf that literally um, it's that wide and I could just uh, slide it in there without having to worry about you know cabling, you know extra cabling on my desk and so on and so forth. So on the back here. Uh, we've got a we've got a port here for the DSL uh, and then four ports uh, for uh, that acts like a switch. Uh, the USB, which is good, which is very very handy to have for your uh, print server or um, um, your 3G, 4G uh, USB modem. Um, what I really like is also the um, the on and off button right here. It's it's literally very very big, so. Um, I mean, it's bigger than other other modem, modems, uh, but anyway, uh, this is it. Um, I'll do I'll do a close up for you guys, so you know you can have a closer look. Uh, but anyway, uh, thanks again for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.